Living single, like the show in real life, I'm the titled character in practice, in search for my life to begin with, I was sure I had it figured out, I somewhat do, just need a motivator right now, walking through every street, avenue, boulevard, road, not in the mood for the bus even though it's easier, actually, hold up, let me catch this one, I'll just walk the rest of the way soon, meanwhile my mind's in the booth recording my process of fitting my flows, Finding the beat before it runs ahead of me and I lose it on account of distraction by schoolwork being the main focus. Just met up with Gerald during the ride. That's the link up already, bruh. Gotta exchange info to pass the time and we got our music to hold us over till we reach the building for our classes. Okay, I'll admit. Sometimes my classes can bore me. Let alone anybody. But I have to push through them. I got my dear hour and change to read and write my schemes in the margin. Blank faces with me in the pages as I fill these lines with every bar I can produce so my witnesses can see the dedication. Oh, there's Eugene. I'm about to holler at him. Lunch period. We three got a table to converse. Music, TV, movies, comics, whatever the hell it is, we speaking on it. <laughs> and if we working while we eating, I mean the food side. But we all just busy talking. Cool. Lunch period's over. We got free time after our last rounds of classes for the rest of the day. Oh, damn. Just so happened to run into this girl in the hallway coming from my locker. Hold up. Hold up. Is that Phoebe? Yeah, it is her. She cool people for real. She ain't down with the popularity nonsense. She just trying to... Get through the day like me and the boys. Yo, I just peaked Helga though. <laughs> but she always jokingly messing with me every chance she get. It's all good. We good. Don't know about the obsessive part. It's just a theory. We'll see. <laughs> Anyways, I'm getting ready to head out. Sid, Rhonda, and Stinky out here waiting on the rest of us. Because we about to hit up the corner store and keep walking from there so we can chill. No lie, though, as we were walking, I might have a little thing for Phoebe. My mind on urges, but my heart's on that patience. I'm so conflicted on my approach, yet I'm in my feelings. The hell's this? It's one thing to be attracted to her physical attributes. But first and foremost, I'm drawn to her intellectual contributions. So when everybody else is on that persona real quick, we lost in convo. She on my radar as an, oh, Gina. <laughs> All right. So now we're on that collective listening session till we start over-talking each other because, of course, we're going to do that. We can't help it. That's how it is. We joke. We laugh. We debate. We got to get back home, though. Who knows what's going to happen on these streets when the late night hits. Anything and anybody could pop up on us off guard on our blind spot, just saying we good though. We caught the bus, dipped the cards, the inside's not crowded, we in the back just riding and chilling, acting a fool for the hell of it. Let's talk about an episode, I'm gonna fall out with my fam in this house, zoom out, credits roll. <laughs>